Hey there, welcome to day 1328 of What's Your Up To Now. Sharon Hornelson here, documenting the journey and sharing the, the stuff that works and the stuff that fails as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. Today I want to talk a little bit about what I'm working on, but also something that I think is really, really important that we, on a conscious level, almost never think about. At least I don't really think about it, and that is what things mean to us. Uh, what things mean and how we define them is absolutely positively up to each and every one of us. And our idiom, our expression for Super Size Your Business today was talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. And to me, there's so much in that expression, so much in that idiom, so much wisdom, but also so many ways that we can take it and define it differently and it can mean different things to, to different people. Now, with respect to growing and building and supersizing our business, it, of course, means that, yep, you can be talented on your own and you can win. You can get some wins. You can have some success in your business. But if you really want to grow and supersize it and win the overall big game of success in your business and business notoriety, it's going to take intelligence as well as other people. It's going to take teamwork. And so one of the ways that we define intelligence or we can use and apply our intelligence is how we define things, how we decide what everything means for us. So I talked about, uh, for example, how we define success and how we define failure and how most people, me included, usually do it and why we experience failure so much more often in our life than success. We allow ourselves to make it, we, we normally make it easy to experience failure, failure by how we define it and we make it difficult to experience success by how we define it. If we change two little words, uh, and an or, we can absolutely flip that around so that we're experiencing the things that we want to experience more frequently and the things we don't want to experience, we're making it almost impossible to actually feel or experience those things. I actually did this to myself in my life in my past with respect to depression, with respect to uh, the word failure, depression. It is almost impossible for me to feel depression nowadays because I changed the way I define it by making it impossible to feel. I had to do all these different things and feel all these different ways and I used the word and 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 I had to not be trying, I had to not be ever getting out of bed, I had to not ever have a positive thought for 30 days or more straight. I had to every single day, all day long, only have a negative thought and never have a positive thought, never enjoy myself, never have anything that felt good to me for you know, ever, and by adding absolute terms and the word and, I, I made it impossible to feel depressed. I made it impossible to feel failure because to me, it, you know, in order to feel failure and to actually be a failure, I, it's impossible for me to be that because I define failure using the word and, and I have to have all these crazy things, this and this and this and this and this, and never learn a thing from the, any experience in order to feel failure. So I almost never feel failure. Do I try things and they don't work? Absolutely. Pretty much every day I try something on and it doesn't work. I try some new tactic or, or thing or strategy that I learned. I try to apply it and it doesn't work perfectly for me. But it's not a failure. It's a success because of how I define success. To define things I want to experience more in my life now, I use the word or. So I break down all the different ways that I can feel success or positive or happy about something, any feeling I want to experience more of, and I make it easy to feel and experience that feeling. So it's really, really happy for me to feel, really, really easy for me to feel happy, accomplished, success, positive, um, delighted, curious, and it's really, really hard for me to feel things like doubt, worry, fear, anger, uh, jealousy, judgment, because I made my definition of those and this and this and this and this. And so it's almost impossible to experience and feel those things versus success, happiness, joy, love, freedom, the things I want to feel. I've defined them so that it's easy for me to feel them using or statements. I make it easy. If I have even a penny in my purse, any money in my bank account at all, I feel successful. If I treat anyone in any way, shape or form, either in thought, feeling or act with kindness, or compassion, or the way I want to be treated, if I do what I say I'm going to do, or I be present in, a, in the current situation, if I be optimistic or positive in any shape, way, if I smile at a stranger, to me, I get to feel a little hit of success. And so uh, we can 
set ourselves up for feeling the way we want to feel more often, or we can do just the opposite. I say let's set ourselves up to feel the way we want to feel by making it easy to experience the positive feelings and the things that make us feel good and make it impossible, at least super duper hard, to ever experience the things we don't want to experience or we don't want to feel on a regular basis. And it's as simple as changing and using or to, to define things versus and to define things. Love to talk to people more about this. If anybody's curious about this, we could probably have a whole half day workshop on how to do this in different areas and aspects of our life alone. But it, it, this idiom, this, this saying by Michael Jordan, who is the greatest of all time with respect to basketball, for what I know about basketball, uh, is it just triggered this thought and this idea in, in me that I should share this because not a lot of people think about it. And there's so many little nuances like that in our lives and, and little things that we can do that make a huge impact and a huge difference on us. I like to share those things when, I, when I'm reminded to share them because if I can make life better, if I can positively impact the life of anyone, that's part of my success definition and success formula. So what else am I working on? So obviously that was our idiom and our expression today. Power back on at the homestead. We had a huge storm yesterday that knocked out. Uh, it, it caused a lot of devastation in my small town. Uh, we live in a small border town in Wisconsin, and we live right on a, not, we don't live right on the river, but we live a little bit, about, I don't know, an eighth of a mile from the river. And uh, the rooftop of our beach house down at the river in the lakefront was literally picked up and thrown past the parking lot across the street and into the front of our library building. Blew out all the windows, dumped railings, took off all the, the front. It's it's really, uh, it, my daughter and I and my granddaughter went down and, and, and checked it out and we're like, whoa. And then we drove around a little bit to see the devastation in our town, which was, it's, it's bad to say, but it made us feel better about the damage that happened to our home because uh, you know, you look out at, at 4 o'clock in the morning and you've got your phone flashlights because the power's out and you can't really see what's going on, but you see trees and debris everywhere in your house. You don't really see any water leaking in, so you're grateful for that. But you're like, all right, we know there's there's problems. You know, the kids have their motor home uh, out front here, and that, of course, got branches on it and dents. And so stuff happens, but as you go around and you see what could have happened, and what's happening to other people, it just makes you feel better about your situation. This is, again, how we define things. You know, we think, oh, my God, it's the end of the world. We lost three trees. And then you look around at people that have 100-year-old trees uprooted in their yard, laying on their front porch. And you just realize, well, thank goodness people didn't get hurt in this. But, wow, this was definitely something to remember in a bad storm. Uh, for our, and luckily, on the other side of Interstate 94, there wasn't any damage and my and electrical outages even though there were 10,700 people without power in our little town it was only part of the town and the uh, the area wasn't all of it so south of the highway where my sister lives you know I got to go hang out with her all day and at her house and ended up you know changing my schedule because change happens all the time and we have to flow with it uh, changing when I do things and how I do them, but I still got all of my things that I wanted to get done done And I also got to hang out with my amazing beautiful little granddaughter and my sister for the day So and her family so that was fun and awesome. There's always an upside to things, right? our um, So I did do our do one thing every day that centers us and it was the beginning of a two-part saying day, and we finished that up today about love and kindness yesterday we talked about how I love today and yes today we talked about um, how I will be kind today. I haven't really, I guess I was kind to my, to some people today already, but I haven't been as kind as I will be throughout the day. And again, we can define kindness and love in a way that we experience it whenever we want. We make it easy to experience kindness and love by how we define success and by how we define it. We can define it by saying, whenever this or this or this or this or that or this or this or this or this happened, I get to feel loved and kind in any one of these scenarios or any one of these situations so we can experience success and love and kindness and beauty and curiosity and all the things that feel good to us whenever we want to so that was our 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that centers us and we'll continue working on that you know whenever i get to the we're almost to 265 when i get to 265 i'm like wow we're on the downhill stretch because there's only 100 days left so we're coming up close on that day 261 today so those are some of the things I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of, um, I missed a day yesterday of a, 
a five-day retreat that I was involved in, and so I will try to catch the recording of that today before they take it down. Uh, I'm not super frustrated or worried about that because my bigger challenge is figuring out how do I get my internet working because although the lights and power are back on, internet's not working to the house, and so I have to figure out. I'm sure it's something simple and easy. I just haven't troubleshot it because by the time we got home last night and it was late, we were just so relieved to be home that I didn't fix and do all the things that we needed to do last night. Hung out, got the baby to sleep, things like that, which was more important. So, going to work on that today, and then I will, of course, uh, do the things I usually do and process and do the stuff I want to do. Thankfully, nowadays, we can do almost all the work that we do via our cell phones, and we don't have to have an internet connection to, to accomplish the things we want to accomplish, although it does help. We have, you have to have a cell phone which has a connection or an internet connection or both, but it's easy to go and find those pieces even if they're not functioning in our normal location. We can figure it out, right? We always have to figure everything out. It's part of the challenge. It's why things happen in our lives is so that we can rise to the occasion and grow by responding and rising to the challenges that come up in our life. All right, have an awesome day. That's it. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be troubleshooting internet and other things around the house as we see it about removing trees and fixing roofs and fixing motorhomes and things that need to be taken care of as the ramifications of any storm or any change or challenge that comes our way. All right, have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow to update what is working, what's not, as I transition in and out of the, of the offline and online world. Have an awesome day.